Now at 10, Scouts versus Shark. A Riverside Scout troop earned its bravery badge this week after a very scary encounter at sea. The Scouts were canoeing off the coast of Catalina when they crossed paths with the shark. And tonight they have quite the story to tell. Kick on Orange, Orange County reporter Stacy Butler is live in Torrance right now at Harbor UCLA Medical Center. She spoke to a father and son who survived that harrowing ordeal together. Stacy. And Jeff and Susie, the teen is recovering here at the hospital behind me. And earlier tonight, he and his dad told me that they were paddling their canoe through a kelp bed just offshore when they encountered the unthinkable. Something slammed into the bottom of the boat and lifted the uh, canoe up. It then slammed us back down the, into the water. When Eddie Cahill and his dad Daniel were paddling their 11 person canoe filled with Boy Scouts Wednesday morning off Catalina, at first they thought they hit a rock, but seconds later. So the shark comes up and kind of hits the boat like this. Um, my hand is maybe here, so I'm reaching down. The shark comes up, I sl it slides against the boat like that, and it's my hand is there, and then it slides down and resubmerges. At that moment, I was freaking out because I don't want to capsize and I didn't want any of the other scouts to get in the water. His dad in the back of the canoe started to panic. Oh, it's a shark. Row, row, you know, and, and we all start rowing, um, digging. And uh, Eddie's like, I lost my paddle. And, and then I hear, uh, I think I lost my finger. Adrenaline kicked in. Eddie saw the blood but didn't feel the pain. His dad, an assistant scoutmaster, and nine members of Troop 176 from Riverside paddled back to shore like their lives depended on it. It cut the ligaments in the hand that were holding the finger in place, so my finger was kind of hanging down. The star scout was taken by helicopter to Harbor UCLA Medical Center, where he underwent surgery. He and his dad are grateful for what didn't happen. He's going to keep his hand, and uh, the ship, the boat didn't turn over, and kids didn't end up in the water, and I'm thankful for that. I didn't even really lose a finger. I, you know, damaged my hand pretty badly, but I think I will make a almost full recovery. Um, but I could have lost multiple fingers. I could have lost my entire hand. I could have lost my life. A local shark expert believes that the teen encountered a juvenile great white shark, a sizable one. Uh, he says it's not uncommon. Summer is their time, and Catalina is one of their favorite places to be this time of year. He is surprised, though. He says that the teen was bitten by the shark on the hand. In Torrance, I'm Stacy Butler. Jeff and Susie, back to you. What a story to tell his kids and grandkids. Stacy, thank you.